Hi, I'm Ellie and welcome back to Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to validate date and create date picker in Google Sheets. I will cover everything you need to know about working with dates and whether you are a beginner or pro, this video will help you a lot. Okay, grab your coffee, sit back and let's get started. I start with the date formula. Let's see how it works. I type an equal sign, date, and open parentheses. Now I should simply enter numbers representing a year, a month, and a day. For example, 2020, comma, 6, comma, 13. Close parentheses. Now the formula returns these values in a date format. Notice that the inputs to date formula must be numbers. I can also refer to another cell containing the date. For example, I have year, month, and day in separate cells here. Now I want to have the date in this cell. So equal sign, date, and tab. Instead of typing the numbers, I select the cells and enter key. As you can see, the numbers return to a date. Now if you don't like how Google Sheet formats dates by default, you can change it. I copy this date and paste it into the cell beneath. Now I go to the Format tab, Number, and Custom Date and Time. You will see the window with lots of different custom date formats are available. Whichever you choose and apply, your dates will look the same. For example, I prefer this one. And apply. As you can see, the date changed with the selected format. Alright, for the next step, let's create a date picker with the rule of valid date. I click on the cell or range of cells I want to enable the pop-up calendar or date picker. Then I navigate to data validation from the data menu. Then the data validation rules pane will open. Now I click on add rule. For the criteria, I choose is valid date. Now I check show help text for the selected cell. And then I choose the reject input and done. Okay, now I can see the date picker simply by double clicking the cell to which I had added the date validation. And I can choose a date. I can change the date format either. I go to the format tab, number, and custom date and time. Now I choose for example this one. As you can see the date format changed. And if I choose any other date from the date picker, it will appear with the new form. For the next, I want the user just enter a date before 2020. So again, I go to data tab and data validation. I add a new rule. I choose date is before. For the following field, I choose the exact date. Now I type 2020. Reject the input and done. Now if I add a date after 2020, an error will appear and warn to enter a valid date. The next type of rule that we can have for dates in Google Sheets is date is on or before. Let's test it. I select the cell and go to the data tab, data validation, and add the rule. Now for criteria, I choose date is on or before. And here, exact date. In the empty field, I type January 2010.
and done. Now if I add any date after the selected date, it will show this warning. I add another date, and it is okay. Date is after, and the date is on or after, is exactly the same as the date is before, or the date is on or before. I just test one of them, let's give a rule to this cell. Again, I go to data tab, data validation, add rule. Now I choose date is after, exact date. Now I type after February 2010. Reject input and OK. Now I add the date before February. As you can see, this warning will show. Now I'm adding another date. Alright, for the last one, let's test whether the date is between or not. Again, I add a rule. Now I choose criteria. Okay, January 2000 and December 2020. Now I choose the date out of these dates. As you can see, the pop-up window appears. In the case of deleting any of the rules, go to the data tab, data validation. Now here choose any one you need to delete and click on trash icon. Now it's time to see how much you learn. So try this one. Date is not between May 2000 and May 2021. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that will improve your skills in Google Sheets. If you need any kind of tutorial, share it with me in the comments and I will create a video for that. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.